Hey guys and welcome! Today I thought that I wanted to show you how I snake proof my terrariums and I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how you can snake proof yours. Because come on, let's be honest, there's nothing more terrifying and annoying when you come upstairs and you want to check on your snake and there's just no snake in the terrarium. So today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to avoid exactly that. Not saying that it's never ever going to happen, it probably is, it has happened to me a few times. You may have seen on Instagram when I posted a picture because Queenie was lost. Uh, and also Queenie is a corn snake and they are notoriously known of being these uh, escape artists. Today I'm going to show you four ways that you can escape proof your terrarium to make sure or to minimize the risk of a snake escape from happening. <laughs> of course it also depends on what kind of terrarium you have. If you have an exterior they do have this little lock on them so you really don't need to do much more than that. Of course uh, make sure that the uh, that the top is completely proof that there's no holes in it and stuff like that but if you're buying it from new there shouldn't be but if you like me also have terrariums that have these sliding doors it can be a bit of a challenge uh, to make sure that the snake doesn't get out so let me show you that and to do that we're actually going to go to this side and uh, let me just turn ra -ba -ra -ba -ra. because over here if you can see him right there over here is my super ivory ghost his name is Shiel, he's right down here in the water. It's soaking time for him, he's going into shed. Hopefully you won't mind me grooving around out here to show you guys these few tips and tricks. Shiel's terrarium, he has these sliding doors, you probably know them. These sliding doors are very easy uh, to both open and close for you as an owner, which is very nice of course. But for the snake it can also be an opportunity to get out, because if you don't close, uh, the size well enough, the snake might be able to get it, its head in and push it open. And also if the snake is just like grinding the head uh, on the side of the terrarium, it might even be possible for it to open it. So there are a few ways that you can make sure that even though it is a little bit open on the side or even if the snake is grinding the face, <laughs> It won't get it open. And let's start off with a very, very simple one. You probably already know this type of tape. In Denmark we call it gaffer tape. Not sure what it's called in English. But what you do is that you very, very easily you just whip off a little... Woo! Oh my god, I broke it! Ah, I broke the chair! Holy... Oh... Oh, that's so uncool. Alright, back on track. Alright. Uh, back to the tape. What you do is that you take off a little bit and then let me just quickly go to the side here and then you just put it on the side. There. Now that makes it impossible for the snake to push it open. That's one thing you can do. It's not very pretty but I guarantee you that it works. The next thing you can do is that you can take one of these and again I'm not sure what they're called. If you know what they're called in English please just post it right down below. That will help people know what they're looking for. You take one of these and then you make it into one of ah, these, all right? You can see it, these and these. And this one you use like this. Pretty simple, pretty effective. I have been using these from time to time. The next thing you can use is one of these. These are pretty simple, they are very, very effective. I have to say that these are one of my favorites. I bought a whole pack of these from a reptile store, I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. And here is how they work. You just scoop them in like this, and then the doors, like you can see, they won't be able to open at all. And you can just take them out, very simple again. Very simple, very effective, I highly recommend these, they are among my absolute favorites. The next thing you can use, of course, is a lock, and there is tons and tons of these types of locks that you can buy from various online reptile stores. I'm pretty sure you can find some on Amazon as well. The thing about these is that there is a chance that you might scratch the glass and stuff like that. And I also think it looks kind of brutal with this uh, big lock on it. Now, this lock doesn't fit this terrarium. This is also a thing that you have to know. The hole between the two pieces of glass is too small in this terrarium, so this thing actually doesn't work. But the theory of it is that you put this thing here, you put it like this, on the glass that is furthest away like that and you put it in and then you can close it with this very very efficiently making it impossible for the snake to push it open but this lock works just as fine as this one here 
I absolutely destroyed the chair that I was sitting on. <laughs> so now I'm just on the floor. But anyway, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this little short video uh, with a few tips and tricks on how to snake proof your terrarium. If you have any tips and tricks on how to snake proof the terrarium, or if you want to let me know how you do, just post it right down in the comment section. I'm super thrilled to hear about it. And I'm pretty sure everyone is as well. And if I gather enough new ways of snake proofing the terrarium, I will, of course, make another video. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more of course thank you so much for now and bye bye